Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to use these watercolor pencils on a Santorini stone to make an adorable dragonfly design. Let's get started by selecting a rainbow assortment of the watercolor pencils and then we are going to take those to the Santorini stone and start drawing the design. So this is literally a series of shapes. So an oval, kind of a horizontal oval, a vertical oval, and then some graduated circles and we're alternating that rainbow of colors. And then the next step I'm going to do is add the dragonfly wings with yellow on the larger part of the wing and then I'm going to take an orange pencil and add some smaller decorative um, kind of semicircles inside of the wings and then some pink dots on the outside of the wings. You can see how quickly that design took shape. It was very simple, just shapes. And now I'm going to come back with the same colored pencils and fill in each of these shapes. These watercolor pencils work very much like a regular colored pencil that you would use to color on paper. The only difference that I would say is that they're softer. Um, they will break easier or if you push too hard, they are definitely softer than a regular colored pencil that you would use on paper. But the concept is exactly the same. You can color, so if you feel like you need some control or regular watercolor palettes kind of scare you like they do me, these are a really great option to get the same effect, but to have a little bit more control. Are water brushes that I picked up at Michael's. You unscrew the top and fill them with water, put the top back on, and then when you squeeze them, water comes out of the brush tip. So this is how I'm going to get the watercolor look when I take these brushes back to the stone. So you can squeeze out a little bit of water, utilize a paper towel, and then take that wet brush tip to the areas where you colored with the watercolor pencil. You may need to experiment a little bit with the amount of water that you put onto the stone, you can kind of flood it and then push the color around with the brush, but you do want to be careful because if you put too much water, the color is going to run a little bit outside of your design and it might get a little bit out of control. <laughs> so it is kind of, you know, an experimental thing at first until you get used to how much water you need to make that color kind of meld and you literally are kind of pushing the color around with the brush on the stone. Also, if you don't have these water brushes or you don't want to purchase them, you can do the same thing by dipping a clean paintbrush in water and just kind of adjusting how much water stays on your brush and then going to the stone with that. Here's an example of where I went a little too heavy with the water and you can see that this orange kind of bled into the yellow. So I'm just going to come back with the colored pencil, color it in again, and then come back with the water brush to get the watercolor effect. Another tip, if you don't have Santorini stones or you're not interested in working with the Santorini stones, you can still do the watercolor pencils on regular stones. I would just recommend that it's a very smooth stone and then you base coat it with a chalk paint or the liquid gesso. And what that will do is give a base for the watercolor pencil to adhere to, and then you can come back with the water brush or a paintbrush and water and get this same watercolor effect. I know that some of my videos lately have been Santorini heavy, and there is a reason for that. I am really, really well stocked on Santorini stones because one of my friends and fellow admins actually invested in a whole palette of them last year and was selling them locally and so she gave me a really good deal and I invested a fair amount of money and I have a lot of them in all different sizes so I've just been kind of grabbing out of those boxes but I do have some natural stone designs coming up I heard you saw those comments you missed the natural stones so they are coming um, so just hang in there sit tight I've got some really cute ones coming soon now I'm going to take my Sakura Pigma paint pen and give a quick outline to all of the shapes in the dragonfly. 
So I don't want this to be perfect. I want it to have kind of that messy, free-handed look to it. Here I'm gonna add a very basic two eyeballs and a smiley face and then some antenna to our sweet little dragonfly. I love this design so much. I think it might be because my son is finishing up kindergarten at home here with me. And so it reminds me of just a cute young child's design and it's bright and it's cheerful and it's all about spring. This design is not going to escape without some glitter paint, but before we can do that, we need to give it a light coat of a spray sealer because the glitter paint liquid will actually move around the watercolor again because it's wet enough that it will move that color around and we don't want that. So a very light spritz of a spray sealer and then let that dry. And now I'm just gonna take this hologram glitter paint and give a quick swipe basically everywhere that I went with the Sakura Pigma pen. So that entire outline of all of the shapes that created this little dragonfly are gonna get an outline of the hologram glitter. It's very faint, but it's enough that it will catch the light, especially after a coat of resin gets on here. And that just makes it even more pretty because the Santorini stones have a natural sparkle to them. So that white background will also have some sparkle. I told you it would catch the light. Check out how the sparkle hits after there's some resin on this stone. If you enjoyed this video, stick around and watch some more. Check out one of these on the screen right now. Thanks for stopping by and I will see you next time.